Hello Year 7 and welcome back to your second art lesson. The project that we've been looking at so far is Origami Project. Um, and we had one lesson which was to find out a bit more about origami uh, with a bit of research. So what we looked at was these questions. Five questions. Um, I feel like they were pretty straightforward. Some of you were saying you can't find the answers online. Um, what I would say to you is you need to try a bit harder. Um, if you can't find it with the search, whatever you're writing in the search box, type in something else that might be relevant. Um, most of you did complete this task, so well done. And I've given you a mark according to that. Okay, so um, today's lesson, we're gonna be looking and understand the meaning of artificial. And we're also going to have a go at making our first origami shape. So. Um, I'd like you to just to pause the video now and I want you to fill out this section here, okay? A section where it's, it says um, right down here what you think artificial means. What does the word artificial mean to you? Um, I will give you two minutes to write it down here. Okay, pause the video now. Okay, right, so now you should have written something here and we're going to check what artificial means now. Okay, so artificial is something is made made or produced by humans, something that's made or produced by humans rather than occurring naturally. So something like um, trees, grass, animals, then a human, they're not artificial. They occur naturally. But something like if you look here, it's like fake uh, grass. Even these plants, you can have these plastic plants that are not really plants, they're fake. Robots are man-made. Okay. So you've got these examples here. Okay, and the way that links in with origami is because the products you make, they're not real, they're artificial, they're man-made. Okay, um, looking back at origami and the questions that we answered, and for those who may have got a few of the questions wrong, um, origami split up into two, um, the two words uh, into one. Um, Ari means paper, gami means folding. So origami means paper folding. Okay, it originated in Japan and traditionally does not allow cutting. So um, normally, traditionally, they didn't cut any pieces. They just folded. I think later on, um, they started to cut it to create diff more different complicated um, designs. Uh, the largest origami crane was made of paper the size of a football field. Okay, so that's quite impressive. Right, so this is going to be your task. Okay, um, your task is to follow the instructions to complete your own origami dog. And um, there's an example on the uh, board here. Okay, this dog. Um, the task is to make your dog unique, to be creative. Um, uh, sorry, unique to you. And you need to be creative, use color and detail. First thing you need to do is just focus on task one. We're gonna um, create it and I'm gonna um, do this quickly with you. Even though the steps are quite clear, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So this was my origami dog, okay, without the decorations on there. It's just the shape of that, okay? And I'm gonna show you how I did that by following the steps. So first thing I need to do is I need to get a square piece of paper. It needs to be square, okay? So this side, all the sides need to be equal to each other. The way I did that was I had a um, piece of paper that was much bigger, larger than this. I used a ruler and I measured and this um, has a measurement of uh, 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters, okay? Or 200 millimeters by 200 millimeters. I um, used a ruler, I measured that distance, and I cut it out to give me the square. Okay, the first thing now, step one says to hold it this way, okay? As you can see in step one. Then it tells me to fold it in half, okay? So one of the points is pointing towards the bottom. Then it tells me to fold it in half again. Okay, so I'm gonna fold it in half again. Okay, so it looks pretty much the same as step three. Okay, let's move on to step four. Step four, it tells me to unfold it. Okay, so it's unfolded, okay, just like step four. Now step five, it starts to become a bit tricky but you need to start folding it from the edge here, create a new fold, 
and fold it down. Uh, this fold can be totally um, not symmetrical, but it needs to be the same. So you need to take your time with the fold just to make sure, make sure they are both accurate. So once I was happy, then I pressed down on the folds even firmly just to hold that in place. Okay. Now, this looks exactly the same as step five. But now if you look at step six, it looks more of a shape, a shape of a dog's face. The way they've done that is, it says the head's too pointy, fold the top corner to the back. So this is the top corner, and I'm going to fold it to the back, just like that. And now we have a shape that's exactly the same as step six. Let's move on to step seven. Step seven says, unless you want a pointy chin at the bottom, fold the bottom corner back. So I'm going to fold this part, this bottom corner, back also. Okay. So I'll flatten the top out by folding it to the back. And I, I have something very similar to step seven. The next stage I need to do is task two, which is at the top here. And it says, make your dog unique to you. Be creative. So start coloring this in, putting the fe facial features, eyes, nose, and, and give it some color. Okay, that's your task for today. Um, please, get, please try your best to get this on plain A4 paper. If you haven't got plain, then lined paper will do. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to contact me. Thank you for listening.